Hi, this is a quick three minute video on one question on this particular worksheet. There is an alternative video as well where we've looked at question number five and six. However, please do download the worksheet, follow the link below and have a look at the answers and the questions as well. If you need any help, always add a comment below. I'll always come back to you. So this particular question, we're looking at question number nine. Now, question number nine is slightly different because it's got this three quarters of a circle shape and we're being asked to find the whole perimeter of the shape. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the formula for the outside perimeter or they call it the circumference of a circle and from there we can work out if it was a whole circle but then we're only actually going to be using three quarters of it you'll see what I mean in the video okay so if it's a whole circle we've got the circumference equals pi d. Now I am aware that some people will write 2 pi r the reason that is is because 2 times the radius is the diameter. So if we can imagine it's a complete circle, if we look at the diagram, it would have a diameter of 30 meters. Okay, so I can use that information and I can work out the circumference of the circle as pi times 30, which I'm just going to leave as 30 pi. Now that's because it's the whole circle and it's just much easier just to leave it in terms of pi rather than actually calculating and having to write a whole load of decimal places. Now, in this particular case, we've got three quarters of a circle, so we're going to do three quarters of 30 pi. Okay, and the way that's going to work is that if it's only three quarters, it's going to equal 30 pi multiplied by three quarters, which is going to equal 22.5 pi. Okay, I'm sorry about my awful writing, but if I pop 22.5 pi into a calculator, I'm going to get 70.68 five five centimeters okay now that's 70.6855 centimeters is actually the three quarters edge of the circle itself so what we've calculated is going to be this length all the way around here okay but we're being asked to work out the total perimeter so we mustn't forget so don't forget the additional slight extra bit which is this bit which is 15 centimeters and because it's a circle this bit is also 15 centimeters so it's going to be we need to add 30 centimeters so the total is going to be 100.6855 centimeters OK, um, and that's very common, actually. These types of questions are usually about three marks and those sorts of things do get left out. So always remember to add that extra little bit and then check with the question because the question itself says it's one decimal place. So that's going to be 100.7 centimetres in total. That's the answer to that question. Please do download the video. No, download the worksheet. Have a go at the questions. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.